Hey everybody, so today I'm going I'm going to be going over at my home PBX setup. So um, I have three IP phones in my house right now and one soft phone. So three of those phones, one is gonna be in the room you're looking at right now, my workstation room. Second is gonna be in the master bedroom, and third is downstairs in the kitchen. The soft phone is also located in the office, and I plan on getting another IP phone there running. So right here I have um, three CX running in the cloud. That's the dashboard or extension list specifically. I have a soft phone attached to my 310 extension and an IP phone attached to my 310 extension. So we can call 310 right now. Let me get this soft phone ready. I have a mobile soft phone also, so 310. So it comes up from both screens. But here's the thing, if I press reject from the phone, it won't reject from the computer, so I have to press decline on the computer. Same thing, um, same thing if I press decline on the computer, it won't decline on the phone itself. So yeah, that's a small bottleneck. However, I can place calls from each each of these. So, extension three, two, one. Yep, incoming call. And same thing up here. And up here, there's also a BLF. So I take my phone off the hook. You can see that my, my phone, if I take this off, say nine 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 for voicemail. You can see that this extension is busy. It's highlighted as yellow. So yeah, and I can make calls from the phone also. So yeah, just click the arrow. Oh, what call? Ha, weird. It's not gonna call. Well, anyway, um. Like what I was saying. So yeah, I have um, 3.6 soft phone installed on my computer and it's installed on the IP phone. So let's head over to the office. Camcorder Sloan battery. Yes. So um, in the office, I have 3.6 uh, web client running on the um, computer. I'm gonna place a phone right there in that corner. It's going and I'm gonna run an Ethernet cable to the router over there. Um, so yeah, it does. It also makes calls too. So let's see. Keypad. The extension is three one three. Okay. And as you can see, it comes up right there. That's pretty good. All right, so let's um get closer to this. So yeah, you can uh, also has the BLF function. All right, so now we're at the master bedroom. So I have this phone mounted um, on the bed frame. It's a Cisco seven eight twenty one. So oh, I have voicemail. So. Um, I have base, um, a line key, I have this set as a line key, and then I also have this as a paging soft key. So if I um, press page, paging, just listen, and after you heard that tone, I can now speak throughout all the phones within the house or building. And once I'm done with the page, I can simply just hang up. And when you're paging, you never want to like page and your page by just hanging up like this. They'll create a loud noise instead. You want to uh, use your finger, hold down the flash key until the call ends, release it, and put the hint up back. I'm going to demonstrate a page to this phone also. However, I might get some feedback. This is a, this test, is a test page. page. This is a this test, is page. test page. Okay. So as you can see, I just demonstrate the paging feature, and I can dial other extensions from here too.
Testing. So it works, and I can put it on hold. And when you got put on hold, you can hear the phone releases a three, like a beep. Test call. So it works very well. Alright, so now that you guys have seen all the phones upstairs, we're going to head downstairs now. Okay, so I'm now in the kitchen, and I have a Polycom VVX 400 IP phone. This has a full color display and a large display, which I really like. So, it's pretty easy to use. Um, I can dial any extension. Pretty straightforward. 3, 2, 1, send. Then call get sent. I'll simulate a call to uh, the kitchen now. Oh, down. Oh. And I also have this phone on. Uh, well. Okay. So. Huh, okay. It's gonna end the call. But. But I have this phone on auto answer. So I'm going to take this phone off auto answer. I put on auto answers because um, basically I didn't want people would, uh, like if I were to call usually people wouldn't just be standing around in the kitchen. They would be like in the living room and they wouldn't want to come over here and just pick up the phone and like say hey what. So I just put on auto answers and they, they could just speak right from the couch or something. So I'll turn that off. Let's see auto answer. Preferences. So auto answer, answer uh, SIP calls, no. Let's save. And now, if you call 312, as you can see, it does. Very good. Testing, testing one, two. So, yep, works well. Again, I'm going to simulate a test page through this phone now. And before I send the test page, um, the soft phone, such as in the office room, unfortunately, they can't really listen to the test page. The, the person who's like at the office room, they'll have to manually accept the call from uh, all call paging. So let's just try it now. But on the phone, so it'll automatically answer. Mm. This is a test it's, page. It's a test page. Some kind of weird latency issue, but yeah. So it works well. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I can also even play background music, so I don't really have a uh, official background uh, music system. I'll mute that. But I'll just do a blind transfer to a shared parking one. And now it would um, play the whole default hold music. So I'll, sh I'll show you upstairs. So as you can see, it's currently playing the whole default hold music throughout all the phones. And note that um, the music isn't playing through the soft phones because you have to manually accept the call from paging, which is kind of a bottleneck too. And in here, it's playing the music through the soft phone, so not the actual phone itself. So yeah, system works pretty well. Now if I want to take the system like off, the BG background music and I want to like page. So I'm gonna pick the phone up. Testing, test page. This is a test page. Like this. Yeah. So yeah. It works pretty well, so um, basically what I plan to upgrade about this system in the future is that I plan to upgrade with these. So, T -T -P -T. Oh, okay. so yeah, I plan on um, adding these phones, the uh, um, SIP T 
T21PE2 IP phones from Yealink, of course. Same brand that made this phone. Um, yeah, these phones um, actually work well 36. There are some problems with the Cisco 7821 and the Polycom VVX 400 phones. Like those two phones, sometimes they have compatibility issues. Uh, so I decided to get this phone. Even though it's end of life announcement by the vendor, it does work well though. So um, once I get those, I'll probably make an update video. So thanks for watching my video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you have any suggestions to my system, please leave a comment below. Have a nice day.